Well, Riverwood, this is it. On Sunday, I'll be presenting my final message in the uh, four deadly viruses series and also my final message in my time with you. Although, Lord willing, I'll be with you again uh, for a Sunday in September. But I just want to tell you how, how much I appreciate you and how much um, I have grown to really love this church through the two times that I've been able to serve as the transitional pastor. And the one thing that has impressed upon me uh, from six years ago or eight years ago when I started uh, with you before to now um, is that God is, God's grace has always been on Riverwood and it's never left despite um, all the challenges that you've all gone through despite COVID and all the consequences of things that have happened as a result of that. God's favor has never lifted on this body. And if there's one thing I want you to keep in mind is this. God loves you. God loves this church and he loves every one of you in it. And that's a that's an easy thing to forget. It's such a simple thing to say, but it's such an easy thing to forget, especially when times are hard, especially when times are hard with uh, within our own lives, within challenges that we have toward one another. We may not agree with what they what they believe in, what they articulate. We may, uh, you know, with all of our passion, oppose it. But God loves them. God loves you. God loves when we work to do the mission of this church, which is to reconcile lives to the love of Jesus. And that is what it is all about. And so my prayer for you is that you will continue to live out your mission and even greater so now because you know how important that mission is. It has become firmly rooted in your heart, and it is my prayer that God will continue to work that mission forward. And I know that he has a man picked out for you to lead this church. Uh, we don't know who that is yet, but I know that he has a man that is specially chosen and being prepared for what you guys are going to uh, experience with God in the coming years. And so my heart will always be with you. Know that. And, uh, and know that uh, I, I love uh, all of you and I thank you so much for the love that you've given to me. So I just want to say thank you and, uh, and I appreciate your putting trust in me again to help lead you through this time. And, uh, and that's not lost on me that I, I do deeply appreciate the love and care that you've shown to me. And uh, thank you for letting me be your transitional pastor. I'll see you on Sunday. Looking forward to sharing <laughs> about pride. <laughs> this is... This is going to be uh, a fun but um, a challenging topic, so I hope you'll join me, and we'll see you then.